Hey guys, this is Kitsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, we got plagued with a long-ass cutscene, but it's not over yet. Although it was nice, it kind of introduced the whole area, learned a little bit about Beat, Reddo, got to see the whole surroundings, and met Mr. Stranger Danger, Frederick Chopin. So let's keep going. 11.09 p.m. Why the hell is there a doctor on house call at that hour? He must be making some serious overtime. The things that Frederick is seeing. Is it all really just a dream? Yes, he's hallucinating. Smack him till he wakes up. Very well just be relative. Oh, he's a man of science. I don't think he cares. That? See? He's well, like, what? Oh, really? I don't know. I guess it just came into my mind. When I was watching Frederick's face while he was sleeping. He's so happy. Maybe he's thinking of a naked woman. Hmm. That may be more true than we know. Perhaps what Mr. Chopin is experiencing is not a dream. Hey, you're a man of science. Stop speaking gibberish. Only the individual can determine what is a dream and what is reality. Look at this. Some just doctor. He's not even diagnosing. He's just, like, speaking hogwash and gibber jabber. But yeah, he's just However, ranting on so he can make more money because they're paying him probably by the hour. Side is the true reality, then, uh... He'll be gone forever. It's possible he may never return to our reality. What the hell is that? Hmm. Isn't that like Chopin's like girlfriend or whatever that has like a man named like Fred or something? You can use magic powers too, Frederick? I'm not alone anymore. And that must mean you're like me. And that you're gonna die soon too. See, back to sad after not even five seconds. Yes, you're right. I'm afraid that may very well be true. So, what kind of magic can you use? <clears throat> well, essentially can you? any and all kinds of magic. After all, this whole world is in my dream. Somebody's been hitting too much of the Irish cream. <laughs> You're a strange man, brother. And creepy. No, it's true. Everything around us is all a part of my dream. Even you are just a product of my imagination. Couldn't you imagine Poco with bigger boobs and not being such a downer? Okay, then. If what you say is true, can you tell what I'm thinking about right now? If we really are inside your dream, then reading my mind should be easy for you. Of course it is. You were thinking that you don't want to use your magical abilities in front of other oh people. Oh god, Polka! How could you be into that kind of stuff? I am shocked and appalled. I can't believe I read your mind just to learn of that stuff. I don't blame you for feeling that way. No one likes to be hurt. But she does. When you look at her mind like that, oh god. Didn't think she would have had it in her. Frederick, there's something I'd really like to show you. But it's in the forest. Would you come with me? Huh? I don't know. To go with you to the forest? You mean right now? Why can't we just make yes. love on this cliff? I promise I won't roll so you don't fall off. That would be Polka's naked body. Not. I gotta stop making sex references. But now that we're here, I can actually find um what I'm looking for. Was it this lone rock? Yeah, there's actually something I'm looking for in this area, general vicinity. It's um. Where is it? Oh, it's around here somewhere. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a person. Oh, that's that guy looking for his horse or something for his horse, whatever. I believe it's on that lone rock right here. No, there's something in the shred though. A floral powder. Cool. There should be a rock around here somewhere. That'd be so so nice. Where is it? Oh well, screw it. I'm pretty sure it's not even anything that useful. That's right, I said screw it. It's an item. I can live without it. 
It's not important. Oh yeah, by the way, I think we have some new equipment. And a new person in our party. So let's go. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, secret signature, a heal, pew grave, a decent attack. It's alright. Yeah. We'll get into that more later, and I need a save point. We're into Nuto Village. Sneaking around with a man at midnight, isn't Polka such a dangerous lady, or one that likes to experience the ravages of youth? Kind of. I don't know. So let's go. I'm pretty sure she wanted to go this way. Good god. What the hell's going on here? It's like a freaking drug trip in a forest. So it is a drug trip after all, then, since it's a forest. Gotta catch the dragon. And... Heaven's Mirror Forest. And that duck just had a sword. What the hell? Yup. So, let's look around. There's a first battle with a duck kind. They're not really hard. You foolish creatures! Oh, by the way, Chopin is awesome. Oh crap, I messed up there. Yeah, I could have guarded that, but I messed up. Sacred signature. Oh well, she's all healed up. It's no biggie. And we go. Umbrella attack. I know it's weak as crap. Oh well, don't worry about it. Sucker. You're gonna. Oh, you already did. I was gonna say you're gonna die, but ooh, an angel trumpet. That is very good. I can do it. And she levels up. I can do it. So right now she's kind of stronger than Chopin. Isn't that embarrassing? Here's a treasure chest, and what's inside it? Poison a white cap. What does that do again? Oh, let's go to item set. Oh, we can set some more peach cookies. It's a glowing tail. Um, pretty much it gives a shiny body. Shiny body gives a light aura around ourselves. And um, oh, cool! This is a 70% chance of poisoning the enemy. That's pretty good if you're going for an offensive item set. I'm probably gonna go for one that just heals me all the time because I feel like I'll need it. And hooray, more battle! Haha, your back's turned. How you're gonna die. You soulless creatures. Aha, uh -huh, die duck. Or not hit him for jack crap. Whatever, you know. But now I can show you Pew Grave. Leave this place, Leave this place old violent creature. Oops. Attack. I just love this battle music. It's so awesome. And now the battle is over. We get some moolah and we kick some ass. So let's go deeper in. So hooray. And there's two paths we can go, so let's go... Uh, wait, it's up here. Isn't it? Yeah, there we go, treasure! And a monster! How pitiful. You soul creature. creatures! I wouldn't say they're soulless, they're just a duck with horns and a sword. And again, hard to say. Who gets this as good as mine? You should die. Yay. Oh crap, crap, crap. Sucker. Hey, you're not allowed to cast that three times, are you? Somebody's cheating. And we get a level up. Sweet. Yeah, here's a good level up. Oh, I'm very satisfied. So, we're ready for the level up, and what's inside the chest? We get... Oops, wrong side. We get... Angel Trumpet. Hooray for more res utensils. 
Very nice. Very, very nice. It's up here. Nothing else, right? Yeah, nothing. I'm just gonna try to get all the treasure, then go the right way out. There's no one before the other's cooler. And I think there's a chest down here. Something. No, it's just a dead end. What the hell am I doing? Okay, well, you're not gonna go back to the save point because. No, we're not. But anyways. Turn away! Now, what part do you play in all this? Please excuse me. You see, I have no time. I've never done that before, actually. But yeah, we're out of time, so next time on Let's Play Eternal Sonata, we will progress for through the Heaven's Gate Mirror. So I will see you then.